guys, Rachel here today on the Kidaholic Kits YouTube channel with my first project for September. Yes, can you believe it? So September's kit is a masculine kit, very masculine kit, and it features heavily the Kaiser Craft Factory 42 collection. And straight away, when I saw this kit, I knew that this was going to push me. It is definitely not my normal comfort zone. It is well and truly really outside my comfort zone, but I saw possibility. So I've started off, I've gone through the papers and I've chosen this. Now I've ripped off the branding strips and I didn't even look, but it's sort of like a sketch or a blueprint of pipeworks or light globes something like that so that's the light gray and then I'm choosing to rip the edges off that and I'm going to mat it on a blacky gray metal looking paper just to be technical and use the very technical terms so you can see here I'm just using my ruler to guide me and ripping a thin strip off each edge, uh, ripping it towards me because I believe I've heard somewhere that that gives you that nice white frayed edge. And I do that on all four sides before moving on, gutting the center of the black paper and sticking it down. The photo that I am scrapbooking today is a photo of my husband's beloved work ute and he, uh, we own our own business and he has a work ute that has a large boom spray unit on the back and it's quite a substantial boom spray unit and this photo was of him in his beloved ute bogged right up to the belly of it. So I've just flipped through the six by six papers that came in the pocket life kit and I've chosen again three just keeping in with the black and gray color scheme and I've ripped those edges and I'm going to messily layer those up and just use some staples to keep them in place and then I'm going to put a bit of foam on the back of my photo which I have already uh, used some vellum to matte my photo and I'm going to as I said put some foam on it and give it a little bit of height and dimension what I tend to do with these Kaiser craft collections I do always tend to go a little bit more grungy so I rip edges I use sort of grungy stamps and and try and add as much texture where I can I'm not sure why I just feel like these collections really lend um, themselves to that sort of look and so that is sort of the direction I have in my mind for this one once I stop fluffing around with the photo I just thought then I might uh, flip my layers upside down but I end up going back to the original way and I'm just putting that off center off to the left and then I'm going to pull in some thread. Of course, I've stuck my picture down, but then I decided to put the thread under. And I was going to do what I normally do with my thread and just have a little bit tuck, peeking out the side, tucked in, peeking out the side. But instead I decide I'm going to bring in more and I'm going to run it the length of the page. So you can just see that sort of taking shape now. And I go ahead and I do put um, a few dobs of glue down and a few staples to keep that in place and I'm happy with that and then once I stick the photo back down on top that keeps it um, quite secure. Mm -hmm. 
What I'm going to do now is add these brads which came in the texture bag and they're just black square brads and I go ahead and I put a little slit in my page and use them how you're meant to so you push them through and then spread the arms of the brad out and I do put them so that they're on a di like a in a diamond shape and uh, I think we got three in the kit but I had one from a previous kit so I pull that in and I use four and I, I use those to uh, again add a bit of texture but also to hold some of those loose threads down and I think it's quite effective it adds a bit more of that really stark black in because I know that I'm going to be using the thickers that came in the kit and they are a very stark shiny black which is different to the other blacks on the page which is more they're more a distressed black now I'm just going through the collectibles and pulling out some of these cogs I think that's what they're called and I'm just going to layer those up trying not to make them look like the Olympic rings but that's what was in my mind when I was doing this so I do fiddle around with those for a, for a bit um, and there's lots of different ones and I was trying to get the more grayer toned ones because some of them are quite a rusty brown color um, and here I'm coming in with my title and at first thought I was going to call it O F U C K. I won't say it because I know some children do watch these videos um, and I wasn't going to just spell that out because I myself have children and my children are starting to read and starting to recognize that word so I thought I would just put some symbols in I do change it because I'm not happy with the way that it looks there wasn't enough symbols to, to really make it effective in the thicker pack um, so I leave it like that for a while as I glue down my cogs but then I will end up changing the title to Oh Bugger and that's kind of funny because around here there is an ad on television it's a farming ad and everyone says bugger even the dog says bugger so I thought that was kind of funny so just gluing down the cogs I decided to glue them down it was a bit easier than fighting with the tape runner and I've brought in those wood veneer cogs as well just to add another element and another texture to the page uh, I wanted to add some more of the collectible ones and I'm going to add them at the bottom just to, to bring a bit of balance to the page and to use them up because there is heaps and I'm not sure how much I would use them in the future so that's a really good thing about getting a collection that may not be your absolute favorite I find that it is so much easier to use because you don't try and hoard and save and stretch and all your favorite bits you're happy to use them and you you go hard and use them quickly that well that's what I do anyway and I'm really happy with the way that this layout turned out even though it's something that is not my normal style not my normal colors um, I'm really I'm actually I'm looking at it now and I'm actually really happy with it so I'm just oh here I am just adding in those extra brads that I'd found in my stash and I have changed the title to oh bugger now I do off screen I do add a few um, full like three full stops at the end of that oh bugger um, but it's not in the photos or in the video because I added it just two seconds ago before I started doing my video so using the glue sticking down the cogs um, now I'm not sure if these are Corbett creation cogs or uh, they are from another wood veneer supplier but they're really nice and they're a really um, there's a really nice selection they're not too thick they're nice and thin and yeah I, I enjoyed using them and I wasn't going to use as many but as I said Oh, excuse me as I said I thought why not let's go for it let's put 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 them on put all the things on so I did
last thing I add to this layout is some of the Tim Holtz ideology tiny phrase stickers which were part of the embellishment kit and I think they're possibly the most favorite piece of our kits this month and I go ahead and I add some of the white on black ones and I add three under the photo and three under the title and they read and so the adventure begins hold tight and pretend it's a plan make it happen and when nothing is sure, do your best, everything is possible. So thanks for watching. Stick around for the close-ups. Check out the Facebook page, the website, uh, the other videos on this YouTube channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.